let's 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 move on. Let's talk about Halo. Um, I'm, I'm actually this time go a little bit more into detail about you know how I feel about it. Um, overall, the show is a strong, confident. Eh. <laughs> it's it exists. <laughs> it's nothing special. It doesn't feel like Halo. Um, I'm going to start off by talking about the CGI. The CGI can be a bit shaky at times, but I have to remind myself, and I feel this way about a lot of people online who talk crap about CG, is that we're spoiled. We see so much good CGI that when we see something that is quote unquote bad, people get upset when in reality, not only did it take a lot of hard work and effort and money to make that, but it actually looks really good. <laughs> You're just spoiled. <laughs> and the CGI in Halo is good for the fact that this is a TV show, not a movie. It's a TV show. This is a TV show with a big budget, but this isn't, but it's, I don't think the budget is as big as a Marvel TV show, you know? So like it's it's actually really good for what it's, you know, what it is. And um, but you know, beyond the CGI, I'm not a fan of them showing Master Chief's face so damn much or this early in the series. Like he's just, there's literally a meme about him. There's a, there was a, a scene where he gets off a ship. He he had his helmet off. He puts his helmet on. He drives. He drives for like, this scene lasts for like a couple seconds. Then he gets out the car and he immediately takes his helmet back off. It is so funny. Like he might as well not have a helmet because he's he never has it on. You know what there also isn't in this show based off of a first person shooter? There hasn't been any action since the first episode I hear. I believe we're four episodes in. Nobody has shot a bullet since the first episode I hear. Not even one? Like Not no. One. Actually, I'll take that back. One the like a villain mm -hmm. shot some people that were tied up. Uh-huh. Like prove a point. That doesn't count. But there was like no, there was ooh, you know what? I take it back. Mm -hmm. I'm just remembering there was a firefight at the end of the last episode. And, well, but it was guess what it didn't involve technically, what, what, technically it mm -hmm. didn't involve any spartans the one of the people was like a former spartan that ran away from the program but he's no longer a spartan he doesn't count he doesn't he literally only has his chest plate he doesn't have his full armor and he's short he's shorter than the other spartans because he stopped you know being in a program and stopped taking the stuff that makes them grow big so he doesn't count it was and it was literally just them running away so like that's and it also the reason that doesn't count is because it's a storyline that if you were to watch the show would go, why does, why, do, why should I care? They introduced a character named Quan, who was um, at the beginning of the first episode, her town was attacked by um, the government. The government. Um, a bunch of elites came in, murdered everybody. Well, murdered most of everybody. Then the um, Spartans came down, saved them, but everybody still died <laughs> except Quan. And Chief was ordered to kill Quan because Quan essentially um, threatened to um, tell the world that it was actually the Spartans that killed everybody um, if they didn't give Quan essentially like her planet um, like freedom because she wants to be free from the the, the um, government that the you know the Spartans were part of um, that are trying to protect the world but they're going about it in a very forceful way and you like I thought it was gonna be like the Mandalorian. Like I know, I know you say you haven't watched a lot of it, but you know the story. It's about you know the Mandalorian taking care of the little baby Yoda, right? You know you right. know that you know it's a, there's yeah. a lot of stories like this, like the last one where you're like it's mm -hmm. a big it's like a big frizzled guy. He gets the kid and he starts to get soft and emotional and stuff like that. He starts to learn new things. That's what I thought the story. That's what I thought the story was gonna be, and I was already upset that that's what the story was gonna be because <laughs> I feel like that character for Master Chief, the character that has him think differently, is Cortana. Why would you need to introduce someone else other than Cortana to be that character for Chief? That's unnecessary. Um, but eventually Quan just completely is no longer with Chief anymore. She's with a different character and she's off on her own adventures. That in the grand scheme of what the show is supposed to be about, which is the war of humans versus covenant, it doesn't matter. It, it's so insignificant and I don't care about the characters versus the characters with versus um chief and the other spartans i don't care about quan <laughs> but they keep every time they go to a scene with her i'm just like why are we here i don't care about her like at all they've not done anything to make me care 
Not only that, but I'm not here for her. I'm here to see Master Chief shoot aliens, and we haven't seen Master Chief himself shoot an alien since the first episode I hear. <laughs> this is based off a of first person shooter. Why is there you know, no shooting? <laughs> you know it's bad. Because uh, in seeing some of, like, some of the clips from Halo, it reminds me of, like, uh, the, as much as I hate to say it, it reminds me of, like, the most recent Power Rangers, I think, where they're, like, in the, I don't remember exactly the plot of it, but you know it's bad when, like, it, they're not comparable, but, like, the, 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 they look very similar, like, visually. So, you know, it's bad when Power Rangers has more action than you do. That, that, that's all I have to say. <laughs> yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I see what they're going for, but her story of, like, rebellion against the USNC, UN, UNSC, just, it, it just isn't interesting. Um, I do, though, like the idea of showing how ruthless the UNSC can be um, just for the sake of winning the war. But I feel like they could have gone about it in a, in a way different way. Um, there was a storyline involving a Spartan named Kai, who um, Master Chief essentially, they have these pellets in, that's like um, in, their, in their bodies that kind of regulate their emotions so that they could um, you know, make more um, informed decisions in combat. And Master Chief took his out. Um, and uh, one of the other um, Spartans, Kai, she saw him do it. So she took hers out. And um, the storyline with her um, and another character who's, um, I forget her name. I can't remember her name, but um, who's essentially um, like a scientist and they're them kind of like building this. Um, they, f one of the characters said, you're like a sister to me, but it feels like it's more than that, but we'll see. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just feel like um, there's another character named Halsey who like created the Spartans. And she's she's your classic scientist that only cares about her, ex her um, experiments type character. She doesn't care about anybody else but the projects that she's working on. And um, she, she treats the Spartans as weapons, but this other character, um, the, this other scientist is treating them more like humans. And I like that storyline. Like they're, they're doing interesting things, but overall, it just, it doesn't feel like a Halo show. It feels like a generic sci-fi show. That's it. It just feels like a generic sci-fi show and there isn't enough action in this show based off the first person shooter and it makes me upset um but yeah and it's already been like greenlit for season two which like i hope they un green light that <laughs> once they see how much people dislike this because it's it's not good and i don't know why they did this it, it honestly would have been better off as a movie i feel, I feel like because i feel like you could have got all, you could have got all your action you could have got a story of just chief by himself with other spartans going against you know the covenant and it would have been good but nope, we got this, uh, you know. 